Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be uh, Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising, monthly tarot reading, June uh, 2019. And just bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And we can go a straight away uh, into the spread, that is. All right. So uh, let me cut the cards and uh, the first one, uh, which is marking the topic of your Aries is month, that is going to be the uh, Seven of Cups, followed by the second card, which is a, a conditional card uh, that expresses potential, all right? It kind of tells you what you can go for, should you find appealing, should you have time for it or should you find it efficient, but you are not obliged to do so. So completely conditional a uh, position. The third card represents the challenges, um, <clears throat> you know, what you have to stand against. The uh, fourth card here is going to represent uh, what helps you throughout the month, the positive energy that gives you drive. And the last one, uh, the, the fourth card, that is to be the uh, Eight of Swords. And the last one, which represents the guidance uh, that Tarot gives you for throughout the month, that will be the Queen of Cups. So once again, we have the Seven of Cups, followed by the second one, which is the Five of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the uh, Knights of Cups. Then it is the um, Eight of uh, Swords. And the last one that we do have, that is to be the Queen of Cups. All right, so uh, guys, just from the from first glance from these cards, uh, this month, uh, a huge portion of it, it's going to be devoured by a certain person that you may already know, or that you are yet to meet throughout the month. Now, this person could appear in a couple of manifestation. Now, that person could, could either be rather very... Well, in, in three ways, it is what I can think of is that this person can manifest itself. The first way that this person could be a spoiled brat. <clears throat> the, second, uh, the second way of how this person could manifest for you is going to be a... Um, how can I display it? More like a... How do you say to someone, how do you name a someone... Who, uh, who is an empty talker, who just only talks a lot and nothing of what he says actually comes true or he fulfill everything that he says. So that, that is going to be an empty talker, if I may express it that way. <clears throat> and the third way of manifestation, that could be a, a person who uh, drown you emotionally to a point where you just, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit too much uh, for you. And uh, that itself is going to create, um, in either of those manifestations, you know, that uh, that is going to create a bit of a um, insecurity for you, Aries, uh, for throughout the months. That is displayed here with the Seven of Cups. So um, in either of those manifestations, you know, this person will have a lot to do with your prime 
I would say prime goal throughout the month, you know, or prime uh, agenda that you do have. They do take, that person do take part of it. Either that could be a suitor of yours, you know, your boyfriend or a girlfriend. It could be as well a colleague or your boss. It doesn't matter. The thing is that you will have no clear perspective when you tackle with them. You will not know what what, what is going to be their, um, their drive tomorrow and for that reason it's going to be very difficult for you to establish a certain foundation in regards to your goal in regards to your agenda quick example of that is that if this is a, a suitor of yours you know one day that suitor could be very lovely you know very um how do you say it uh, devoted seemingly you know to get into a relationship with you while the other day you simply cannot take can't, can't make contact with them because they vanish and they reappear in a, in a couple of days afterwards so uh, i would summarize that this is going to be uh, the insecurity that you may face it's not even an insecurity it's more like uncertainty that you are going to um, <clears throat> adopt throughout the month is going to be caused by the um, inconsistency of this person you will have to uh, you will have to deal with uh, the accompanied card of the seven of cups which is the catalyst that is going to be the page of wands so the formation is the uh, passive enemies uh, very peculiar I did not expect it to be honest a an active uh, an active card next to the uh, an active fiery card next to the uh, passive watery card because in that case um, the seven uh, this this formation here urges you to rather uh, try to work the things out rather than just, just you know let go and try to seek for a, a different perspective for a different person or for a different project enterprise and so on and so forth they these kind cards do urge you you know to try to or how can i place to tame the person itself which will manifest itself as a uh, knights of cups now one thing i want to warn you with these cards Aries, is, is that um <clears throat> You will have to be rather very objective and grounded in a sense of that you do, do, just do not believe everything. Well, you can't believe everything that this person is saying. Just do not assume that they are gonna that it is the a pure coin or a yeah a, a pure coin in a sense of that. For example, they may tell you you know that they are gonna bring you to um to world travel, all right, to travel around the world. And while they truly intend that, they may not have the capability right now, so don't get too excited of everything that this person tells you about. Uh, so uh, and yeah, just just stick to um, to what you can work with uh, at this specific moment, at, at this specific day that you find yourself throughout the month. All right, so uh, the next card that we do have for you, that is the conditional one. And this is the uh, Five of Wands. Now, this card has nothing to do with the rest of the reading. What I mean is that that is something peripheral, something exterior of the follow-up of the uh, of the other cards, all right? And it kind of serves uh, as an occupation or as an addition to the grand goal, to the grand subject of the months. And with the Five of Wands, uh, I truly love that card when it comes to a... Um, <clears throat> Uh, a, a side position is because the five of wands is one of the best cards where one could really prevail against odds the first one that is best for that it is the chariot obviously and then second to first that is to be the five of wands where you can really traverse you know uh, a, a, a poignant or deteriorating situations into a situation of a grand success now if that's the case for you with the five of wands that is to happen through some unexpected surprises that are going to stir your situations you know those peripheral situations and are going to give you the the room and the time to readopt new strategies and uh, to prevail eventually at the end of the day <clears throat> Additionally to that, uh, if we, ha we if we talk to the uh, if we talk as a uh, grant, um, not grant, but excuse me, general interpretation of the card, then it points that you can go for a an, a very dynamic month, all right, and try to take advantage of every single small opportunity and surprise that unveils in front of you. Um, the accompanied card that is going to be the Knights of uh, Pentacles <clears throat> and the formation here it is a uh, active neutrals. So the Knight of Pentacles points only that these are going to be very short, uh, short lasting, a temporary um, endeavors and enterprises as well. You cannot truly, on the, these peripheral, I mean, you cannot truly rely on them for a, a long run, uh, for a, a long run prospect. 
Um, to give you an example of that, it could be that you may get a, an opportunity for a, a small private job that is going to increase your income, but that is going to be a one-time job, all right? You can't rely for it for the rest of the month or for the rest of the year as well. So yeah, take advantage of those opportunities. Just <clears throat> have in your mind uh, that, uh, you know, that it's not going to last forever. Then we go to the next one, which is the real core of the month here, and that is the person I talked about in the first uh, in the first card, Knight of Cups, very imaginative and daydreamy person. Now the thing with this one is that they do not rely on luck, and that kind of makes them a little bit overwhelming, because as they try to um, convince you over something or they try to um, attract your attention they become like I said a little bit overwhelming and at some points a little bit bruisey as well that is because at that specific stage throughout the month they are going to see you as a pinnacle in the sense of that um, everything that they want either it is you or goes through you so that's why they're going to be so t that person is going to be so tenacious to either catch your attention, uh, attract you as an ally and, um, you know, or simply get into your bed. Who knows what kind of uh, situation you're going to find yourself uh, in. Unfortunately, Knights of uh, Cups is not a... Um, deception proof card meaning that in order for them to get uh, to what they want they may i cannot say really lie but seriously exaggerated the real state of what they are finding themselves at. for example they can exaggerate their uh, feelings they can exaggerate uh, their their wealth you know their material situation and so on and so forth so in, in other words you know miss um uh, misdisplaying their resources if i may express myself that way the accompanied card here that is to be the um tree of wands so we do have another formation which is a, a passive enemies and uh, definitely uh, that person uh, is not very consistent as a matter of fact looking at these cards i would definitely can say that this uh, person is losing a grip <clears throat> over uh, either his life or his situation as well, or her situation. In, in, well, throughout this month, they will not know what to do, you know, with their life, with their, for example, with their relationship, uh, or with their job. That could be the coworker who seriously messed up in their project, and they desperately, you know, need your help to uh, to clean up their mess. And they are willing to promise you anything you want in order for you to do so. Can they accomplish it? Well, that is uh, very subjective and what I can say is that most certainly no and that's why you will have to be, you, you, you should not allow, you know, their fiction to present itself as fact to you. So uh, the next card that we go to, it is uh, um, what helps you throughout the week, uh, throughout the month, excuse me. So uh, we do have the Eight of uh, Swords, and that is the awareness. The awareness that should you um, not be careful with, uh, with this guy or a girl manifesting itself as a, a Knight of uh, Swords, you can... Uh, uh, is the word enter that I should use or involve? Are uh, you decide for me, guys, into a, a um, stagnate situation that is simply a, a dead end situation? And the worst thing is that you, as if you find yourself into such situation, you will realize that you know you contributed to be in it, and you are the only one who can escape it. But the thing is that what helps you is the realization that if you are not careful with that guy or with that girl if you don't do your thorough research you know and if you're not objective you can um what is the word i'm sorry guys it's just it's on the verge of my tongue here you know well basically you can put a, a huge setback either on your relationship or on your career life as well i will quote um one book here regarding the eight of swords and the book states if um, <clears throat> the truth makes you free what the denial of the truth makes you and uh, i will allow myself to interpret uh, these uh, the, uh, that sentence in the follow-up of the reading here so let's say that that is a suitor who 
kind of like see you as the everything they have ever wanted but in the same time you know you're not very sure should you kind of like you know devoting to this uh, relationship so they are willing to promise you everything and they're willing to tell you how much they love you while in the same time that may not be true as well you know they're uh they will over exaggerate their material states making themselves you know um capable to provide to seem like they're capable to provide and so on and so forth while the truth is going to be displayed, there are going to be a lies as well. And if the truth makes you free, so you have that mental agility to foresee through the deception that this person is telling you, that is going to make you free of deciding. But the denial of the truth, you know, saying, well, it doesn't look like that is, but who knows, he may say the truth or she may, she may be saying the truth, so I will give it a go. You know, the denial of the truth, it makes you a slave. Because once you go down that road, uh, there will be very difficult to get back from as the eight of uh, so uh, as the eight of swords is displaying so be very careful what you are believing to everybody who comes to you throughout the month of uh, june the accompanied card here of the eight of uh, swords that is going to be the uh, temperance so the formation it is an active friend and uh, we definitely have a, a very balanced standpoint that you are going to adopt throughout the month standpoint which uh, you are going to rather restrain yourself from making any harsh and premature decision or a premature action for that matter uh, knowing that there is always something can go wrong all right and so any kind of statement that everybody does around you or even that person that does does toward you or addresses you with any kind of statement you are going to um, have the reasonable doubts in it and uh, you are to make your research or you are going to be prone to do so the only thing that can uh, kind of screw your month over it is if you are blinded by love all right so if you so desperately want to be with someone that you completely disregard the signs of the logic all right and so the final card that we do have here that is going to be the guidance and that will be uh, the Queen of Cups. So you have to be like the Queen of Cups. And while the Queen of Cups is a very loving person by nature, it is also a, a very careful person by nature. Now the Queen of Cups first plans and allow things to unfold on their own accord out to their maximum extent as they can unfolding on their own accord and then if the things or rather if that relationship or a co-worker a co-worker co business excuse me relationship or a love relationship needs you know your contribution then you do it my point here with the queen of cups is that <clears throat> the guidance point that you're going to start sensing where the plights are coming from you know where the problems may arise from and you will have the time to um establish a good strategy how to deal with those plights regardless of what you're going to decide throughout the month should you cooperate with that person or should you not cooperate with that person the accompanied card here that is going to be the tree of swords so um that is the formation here it is a passive neutrals and uh, well basically what the tree of swords points is that guidance wise uh you you will have to basically that is i think something um as the tree of swords appears something a bit unre unrelated to this person well this month of june it looks like that you are going to forgive to someone with these cards all right you will uh, realize that holding grudge and uh being um and hatred as well toward um, either a situation or toward a certain person doesn't help you at all and you just finally need to how can I place it to forgive them for whatever they did or to forgive yourself as well for example if you haven't taken an opportunity back in the days and you're kind of being regretful about it so you can move on from there recognizing that everybody deserves a, a second chance so that being said, uh, Aries, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for um, June 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.